Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17, and if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time, and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, Asian Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a small video that I decided to make because people seem to not understand how to read CPU charts. When I show them the results, for example, with my RX 6800 or using high settings or medium settings, whatever, doesn't matter, uh, people usually tend to ask me, for example, okay man, test it with, for, with, for example, an RX 580 test it with a 5700 XT and so on, so on, so on. Well, people need to understand one thing, and I'm here to explain that. Uh, when you look into CPU performance charts, you do not look at the settings mostly, unless the, the game is really, really CPU heavy. You do not look at the settings and you do not, you do not look at the GPU itself, nor the resolution, okay? You look at FPS targets. I tested three resolutions exactly because of that, because you have three FPS targets. Now imagine that your GPU only, only gives you uh, 60 FPS, 60, 70 FPS at the resolution you play. So if you have only 60, 70 FPS and you're not having a CPU bottleneck, um, then uh, imagine you want to grab a better, a better CPU. If you want to grab a better CPU uh, and your, your GPU still gives you 60 FPS, 60, 70 FPS, then you go watch the 4K results because those are the ones that matter to you. If you play, let's say, at 120 FPS, 140, 160 FPS, let's say, then look more into the 1440p results, for example, or the resolution uh, that has your FPS targets. So imagine you have, for example, the Ryzen 3 3100. Uh, and you want to play at 120 FPS and you have um, a car that can deliver you up to 80 FPS and you want to upgrade to the 3600. You have the 3100, Ryzen 3, you want to upgrade to the Ryzen 5 3600. Once again, you have a GPU that can achieve, let's say, 80 FPS. Now, 80 FPS at 1080p, you go into my charts, for example, or anyone's charts and look for results close to 80 FPS. Because if you have a CPU bottleneck, it doesn't matter the resolution, it most certainly doesn't matter the settings, uh, your CPU will be able to achieve those FPS numbers. Doesn't matter the resolution. So if your CPU bottlenecked, you will get 60 FPS or 70 FPS, the max, let's say that the max your CPU can get is 70 FPS. Then you'll get 70 FPS in that game at 1080p, 1440p, 4K, and even, let's say, 300 million K if you are still CPU bottleneck. So, so if you're looking at those charts, look at them as FPS targets. Once again, see the FPS numbers you're getting and then look at close to those FPS numbers in the charts. That's how you need to read the CPU benchmarks, okay? Okay, let's take this one as an example. So in my video of the, um, the Ryzen 5 3600, versus Ryzen 7 3800 XT versus the Ryzen 5 5600. We have here Far Cry New Dawn tested. And for example, at 1080p, we have 99 average FPS on the Ryzen 5 3600, uh, and we have the same at 1440p. So that means that we are CPU bottlenecked in this game uh, with the 3600, while, the, for example, the 3800 XT gives a bit more FPS, 106, and so on. Um, now, as you can see, for example, at 4K, let's imagine your GPU can only achieve like 80 FPS. The 5600X uh, can give you around 90 FPS. And you can see that, for example, at around 80 FPS, even the 3800, uh, the 3600, sorry, around 80, 85 average FPS, 86, 87, whatever, uh, it will be completely fine even for the 3600. If you want a bit more than that, 
um, you go for for the 5600X. For example, when you go when you go for um, a completely a completely uh, bottleneck CPU bottleneck free scenario like at 1080p, you see that for example, if you want 100 FPS around 100 FPS, then the 3600 will suffice. Will be more than enough. If you want a bit more than that, maybe you need the 5600X because you can achieve now 122 FPS. The results are the same at 1440p or around the same because we have indeed the CPU bottleneck. So the defining factor here is the CPU. Once again, uh, your your Ryzen 5 3600 will only be able to achieve a max of 100 average FPS. It won't pass that unless, for example, you ramp up the the memory settings and so on. But with the same settings, uh, as you can see here, 3200 MHz CL14 you won't be seeing more than 99 average FPS, while the other CPUs can push a bit more, even more, the 5600X. So, want 120 FPS? Go for the 5600X. Want only 100 FPS or less, then the 3600 will be more than enough. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hope you understood what I wanted to, to pass to you, the information I wanted to pass to you that you need to look into FPS targets and not uh, the resolution the GPU used and so on, at least on CPU benchmarks. Uh, if you're going for GPU benchmarks, that's a completely different story. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching, seriously. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And thanks once again, thanks uh, for making this channel what this channel is. Thanks a lot one more time and see you in the next video.